Okay, this is a nice uh, colourful one, so it should come up looking a treat, hopefully, after we've done with it. Okay, let's see what we can do. Going at 200 for this. Okay, let's see what this colourful one is. It is this, nice and bright. And we'll see over the back. Carriage Works Summer 2020 opens the 8th of January. So yeah, it's finished. I, it's, I think it's an art exhibition space, I do believe. Uh, I must admit, I'm a bit browned off with uh, the art world, I don't have any reason to appreciate uh, what gets hung in and what doesn't get hung in galleries, what attracts gallery uh, attention and what drives them away, because I've been the kind of artist that has never had the so-called lucky break when it comes to exhibitions and getting recognised so I've been left behind folks because I fucked my life up in, when I was young I took the wrong path I tried to take a solo path instead of choosing a path with a man called Luigi and I tried to do everything on my own basically and I fucked it all up I couldn't do it on my own and I couldn't get the uh, kind of attention that I wanted uh, from the galleries so I'm really miffed at what I did wrong <laughs> Uh, there's nothing I can do about it now. What's done is done, folks. <laughs> so now I'm using, I'm now taking, going alone once again, but I'm using uh, social media to to propel my campaign, so I can make something of this using uh, social media. Because back then they didn't have social media it was a case of it's not what you know it's who you know my brother used to drum that into me in, in a nasty way which I'm really pissed off with but basically he's partly right I had I didn't have all the connections set up so I ended up doing it going alone and then fucking it all up fucking up any possibility that I might make it into the art gallery world so I've given up on art galleries, and this is what I do. I use social media, like YouTube and Facebook and shit like that. That's what I use. I say fuck, fuck you to the, to the majority of the art galleries. I don't need you, you know, and if you don't like me, tough. I've got social media, nah, 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 nah. suck shit. You know, you've had your chance to put my work up and you didn't get you didn't give me any chance to uh, make it make it oh look I just cut that off I didn't want that wondering that's not the best I'm actually thinking um, maybe we can make it into a movement piece like I was uh, thinking to do uh, but basically I just don't have any affinity with art galleries anymore. I don't care about them. I don't, um, I mean, as there have been some art galleries that have see, that saw potential in my work, but the people that I spoke to were not usually bosses or people in, um, authority type, uh, or you know, people who sort of, who I needed to talk to, uh, but basically, yeah, I just... I've gone off art galleries. I just don't have the time or the money to make my work go up in the galleries. It just doesn't 
<laughs> just doesn't work like that. It's just too expensive getting all the framing and the hiring of the art space. I can't afford all that, folks. I'm not rich. It's expensive enough making the art, let alone having to do all the rest of it to make my work uh, exhibition ready. These are looking like they've got potential, but they're not the best. I'm actually thinking I might enlarge it a bit less. So yeah, i just given up on the whole art scene. I don't belong in the art scene, folks. Um, I don't feel like I belong, like I'm welcome. It's a clicky sort of a, a world, the art world. So I don't like the clickiness of, of the people that are in the art world. Uh, so I'm just, uh, I just do what I do. I don't really feel like I belong in the art world because the art world has a sense, a certain feel to it, a certain flavor, and it's not the kind of flavor that I actually like. This looks like it has potential. I'm not sure if this is going to be any good. But basically, yeah, I just, I've just turned my back on, on the art world altogether. I just don't care anymore. I just don't care about it. So we're just going to try that again. I just don't care about it, folks. I'm just being myself. I don't have to put on a mask for the rest of the people in the cliques that, that I'd have to go to if I wanted to supposedly succeed at being a visual artist. I am a visual artist now, but I'm not. This looks similar to this one. This is the first one we did that looked like that. And this is the second. I'm wondering how we're going to make this work. I'm thinking this is the one we're going to work with. But basically I just don't care about the art world anymore. I just don't feel it, it is my thing to be there. I just don't feel like I'm welcome. Like I'm just another, just another instance of being an outcast. A creative outcast, you could call me. Um, I just can't fit in with the artist world. I just can't fit in. It doesn't, uh, doesn't move with me. Um, okay, just going to put this on the glass. I'm just going to put it upside down and enlarge it down. So this is it. So yeah, the art world is just not a place I feel particularly wanted or welcomed. So I just give up on it and give it the middle finger. Okay, out it comes. It's our first piece of our RT, FRT work. Uh, this looks a bit too small, like I've enlarged it too big. I'm wondering if maybe we could make this a little bit less than 104.0. by 103. But yeah, I just don't feel welcome. Like I don't belong. I don't fucking belong in the art world. I don't belong. Now that looks a bit better. We'll just put this one aside. I just don't belong, folks. Um, this, I don't know whether that would make better piece or maybe we'll just keep it like that but yeah the art world it's really a case of what you, it's not what you know it's who you know it's that sort of cheaty cheaty sort of unfair rat racy sort of 
aesthetic without it being like office work. It's still a rat race even though it's not in the office or in the business, in the business world, but the art world is highly competitive. You can make some really fortunate artists have the op have can really make a lot of money doing what they're good at and what they love, which is the attraction of art. But it's not an easy thing to break into. Trying to do the very thing that you are good at. <sighs> Most people related to art typically would go for commercialism, like they'd end up working in an ad agency to make to make their work lucrative, which is sad because then you'll end up turning your art into money-making fodder, you know, advertising, billboards, uh, advertising, you know, that sort of shit. And that's just sad that, it, that, that visual art for art's sake doesn't have much of a, a say. It's all about money. Everything's about commercialism, making money. And if you're not in the, if you can't, if you can't somehow get into commercialism, you're just going to be a starving artist, probably till the day you die. Uh, but you don't want your work to be used as fucking money-making fodder for big companies or small companies' business. It's just not art. Then it's not really art. <laughs> it's, but anyway, that looks quite nice. I don't think we can make that look any good. I think this is as good as it gets. I think now it's not the greatest demo on earth. I'm thinking I could have gone further. Um, wondering if I should go further or whether I should just call it quits. I think we'll just call it quits. Photocopier just said so.